Camilla Cuisine, Johanna Cook, and you are watching Great Everyday Meals, where we are cooking up recipes with simple ingredients and basic cooking techniques. It's Thanksgiving, and we love to cook such an abundance of food, but what do you get? After all that food, you get a bunch of leftovers. There's tons of things to do with leftovers, and I have a couple of really great recipes for you today, starting with your Thanksgiving empanadas. We're gonna start off today, we have here all of our fixings. I'm gonna just go over what we have. First, we have store-bought pie dough. Very easy, you could certainly make your own, but this is so simple, you could grab it at the store. We have here three sheets of store-bought pie dough. I have here one beaten egg. We have, of course, leftover cranberry sauce. We have leftover stuffing. We have turkey, of course, and some leftover gravy. Now, what we're gonna do, a lot of people make sandwiches, right? You make sandwiches out of the turkey. We're gonna do something a little bit different today, making empanadas with them, which is a really great Latin dish and it's, kind of, it's really like a hand pie. And I know they have their versions as well in all parts of the world. Now we have here store-bought pie dough. I already cut up a couple um, pieces here. Now we wanna start with three sheets which will end up with two, four, six empanadas. I have a bowl here and I'm just gonna invert it right on top and we're gonna cut out our perfect little circles for empanadas. And while I'm doing this, I already set the oven and started preheating it to 375 degrees. That way it's nice and hot for us. Oop, there you go. So we're gonna cut out our second piece here. Thanksgiving leftovers. A lot of people make soup and sandwiches. Today we're gonna switch it up a bit with these empanadas. Now that we cut these out, slowly take out here the excess dough. See? Super simple. We have here a cookie sheet, and what you want to do is just spray them a little bit with some cooking spray. We have one more here, one more sheet to go. And we're also going to make with our leftovers today, I'm going to show you a really great recipe. I have been making fried rice since I was a kid. It was probably one of the first recipes that I have ever made. And I am the queen of fried rice. So I am gonna show you a really great fried rice recipe with our Thanksgiving leftovers. And what's great, fried rice was invented really to, to oop, I ripped it a little bit here. And that's okay if it rips. Just kind of put it back together. I'm gonna make your second one. Fried rice, like I was saying, is really made from leftovers, right? You have a little bit of this, a little bit of that, toss it together with your rice and you have a full meal. So a lot of times what sucks about leftovers is that you don't have enough to make a meal out of it. It's just kind of the ends and pieces of what you had the night before or a couple nights before. So fried rice is a really great way to turn your leftovers into a new full meal for the family and it could be for any time of day. It doesn't have to be for lunch. I mean, breakfast fried rice is perfect. Here we go here. So let's get back to our empanadas. We have here circles. Perfect, perfect. We have some that I already put here on our cookie sheet. So now that we have here, we're going to go like an assembly line, all right? Let's put this stuff away. First, we have turkey. These are just carved turkey breasts. What I'm gonna do, I mean, you could dice it and slice it. I'm just gonna tear it with my hands. So we're gonna take turkey breast. There's probably a couple tablespoons, right? You don't want it too full because we're gonna stuff it with so many things too. So we're gonna take here our leftover turkey pieces. Remember, you're gonna put a little bit of your stuffing, a little bit of your cranberry sauce on here. And I like my turkey in big chunks so that you can really taste that there's turkey inside. Okay, here, this is great. You could freeze this also and have really quick snacks throughout the week. You could do this with any protein. You could do it with ham.
can do it with whatever you have left over. Let's see here, and it's also convenient because instead of a sandwich that's spilling all over the place, you have this cute little empanada, perfectly tucked with your favorite turkey fixins. There you go. So like I said, you don't want it too, too full because we have other things to stuff in there. So we have our turkey. We're going to take some stuffing, about a tablespoon or half a tablespoon or so. Let's see here. Actually, I'm using a teaspoon here. So really, it's about two teaspoons. And I'm going to have the complete recipe for you guys also. If you check out the website, mamacuisine.com, you can see all the recipes from the Great Everyday Meal Show. Let's see here. Alrighty. Going right along here. Some of our turkey. Perfect. Now let's go down. Let me grab another teaspoon here. <clears throat> We're going to dollop some cranberry sauce. Now this is going to be a nice addition here with that tart and sweetness and of course it's going to get warm through as we bake this in the oven. It's going to be such a good little empanada. So about one teaspoon also per empanada. Just a hint. And this is great. When you have leftovers, that's really all you have left. And it's another way to repurpose what you have into another fabulous dish. And really, tur uh, turkey, Thanksgiving, it's one of those things that we just love to have so excited about every year. Perfect. And now we have a little bit of our gravy. So we're going to add that. I mean, really, you have your entire... Thanksgiving in your empanada. How cool is that? So we're going to add a little bit of this gravy. It'll help to keep our filling moist also, which is so key to having a delicious empanada. Perfect. Now, what we're going to do is fold these over just like that. Fold them over, then we're going to take a fork and crimp it closed. Alright, so here you see I have some of the stuff spilling out and that's okay if some of that sauce comes out. Just be gentle with it. Same thing for all of them. Fold it over, closed. So cute. Don't these look so perfect. Your Thanksgiving and a little empanada. So these are all closed now. And all we're going to do now is close them shut with a fork. So very slowly kind of crimp the edges closed with the edge of your fork. So simple. Look at that. So cute. Huh? So cute. We're going to do that with all of these. Such a good thing. And when you have family over and let's say they're leaving the next day, you could pack these for them. When they're on their way back home, wherever they came from, and they get Thanksgiving on the road for their road trip home. Such a great way to send family off. Okay, crimp down with a fork. Good. Now we're going to get our beaten egg with a brush and, you know, take the excess off here. You don't want too much on your brush and we are going to 
brush some of this egg on top and that's going to give it a really nice golden brown color. Our oven is already heating at 375 degrees. This will be all ready for us to put in and make sure you get the sides here so that you get this nice even color. We're going to pop these in the oven for about 20 minutes or so, 20-25 minutes. Everything's already cooked, right? So all we want is this nice golden brown color of the crust and that it warms through. Everything's cooked inside, which is the beauty of empanadas. You could do, you know, classically. I mean, there's so many different kinds of recipes for this, but what I've always had the Filipino version, which I think is very similar to the Spanish um, version and recipe, is ground beef, potatoes, raisins, peas, which I think may be very similar to the Spanish kinds. Let's see here. Oh, that is perfect. So here's our empanadas, beautiful Thanksgiving empanadas. We're going to pop these in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes until they are golden brown. Our first really great and delicious Thanksgiving turkey leftover recipes. So it's been about 25 minutes. I'm going to check on our empanadas. They should be perfectly golden brown right now. And this out here. Oh, and it is beautiful. Just wait until you guys this. Look how beautiful that egg really made a really nice golden brown crust which is exactly what we want. Take these out here, we spray the bottom of this pan with non-stick spray and it's perfect. You can see they're moving around very easily which is exactly what we want. We're going to put these, plate them up. Oh, this is perfect. Filled with your Thanksgiving feast right in here with just whatever you have left over. We use turkey, stuffing, cranberry sauce, a little bit of gravy. That's it. And we got the store-bought pie dough. Turn it in to empanadas, brushed it with a little bit of egg with this golden brown color. And 25 minutes later, at 375 degrees, you get perfect empanada. Set that aside. Remember, that's very hot. So we have here, mmm. So just organize a little bit. They're a little bit hot. So what we're going to do is let these cool off. I'm going to give them a try later on as soon as they cool off. But look how gorgeous. This is another, it's a new meal with leftovers that you had. This is great as presents. Like I was saying earlier, what a great idea when you have family coming over, when they're on their way out after Thanksgiving. What a cool thing to give them on their road trip back home is little Thanksgiving empanadas to take in their car ride back home with them. We're gonna set that aside and give it a try later on after they cool off. And now we have some more leftovers and I'm going to show you a really great recipe for turkey fried rice. I love fried rice. I've grown up eating fried rice and it was one of the very first recipes I learned how to cook. And I'm going to show you exactly what to do with it. We have your leftover turkey breast. We have corn, which a lot of people have as your side dish. And we have some green beans here, just regular sauteed green beans. And I've got two eggs and made scrambled eggs. So that's the key when you see eggs in fried rice, which is totally optional if you don't eat eggs. Um, you just go ahead and beat them, make scrambled eggs, and set it aside. Now, we have in my family, I don't know if you guys have rice, but there is no meal in my house that we do not have rice. So we also have here leftover brown rice. You could use white jasmine rice, whatever you have, um, and two cups of leftover rice too for this fried rice recipe. So what I'm gonna do here is take some of our turkey leftover and just dice them. Let's see, here we should end up with about a cup of turkey. So just roughly chop, dice, your leftover turkey. 
I love fried rice. It's like everything. It's kind of like our empanadas. Everything all in one. Your vegetables, your protein, your grain. All in one spoonful. Perfect. We have our green beans here that I'm going to roughly chop also. We probably won't use all of this. You could do as many, as much as you'd like, of course. Let's see here. Oh, this could be done too, but like couscous I think would be great. Especially, I love the Israeli couscous. I don't know if you guys have tried that. It's a little bit bigger than the typical couscous. I love that as a rice substitute. Even the little ones would work. See here and kind of use that as kind of like your rice, if you didn't have rice. So just roughly chop these. And the great thing is, all of this is already cooked. So really what we're doing is just heating them through together in this fried rice recipe, right? So it becomes like a very fast recipe, a very fast meal. And the thing about leftovers is that we all get really bored of the same stuff, especially Thanksgiving when you're eating like five times of the same stuff because it's so tasty. So the next day or two days later you have all these leftovers and you may not even really want it in the same form that you ate it. So this is a great way to switch it up a bit, but still using what you already have. And really, who wants to cook after you've already spent you know, all day cooking on Thanksgiving. So this is also very easy recipes. Now the only thing I'm adding here is a small onion. You can use shallots too if you like. And this is just to help um, saute, right, in the, in the fried rice. Let's see here. Take, peel off another layer. This is just one of these small onions here. So we're gonna chop this. Just roughly chop. I never make fried rice without garlic and onions. Oh my gosh, and you could even buy um, fried garlic already pre-fried where it's golden brown. Oh, that is so good in fried rice. And that's a great fried rice recipe that um, in the Philippines we always have. We call it sinangag, which is really day-old rice, which is the best way to make fried rice is with leftover rice. A little bit of onions and garlic, lots of fried garlic. All right, so we have all of our ingredients right here. Start heating up a pan. This is the same pan that I scrambled the eggs in, and I have it on high. What's great about fried rice, and a lot of Chinese cooking, is that it's cooked in a high heat, high heat, and that way it is quick, which is exactly what we need during the busy holidays, especially when you want, you know, you're eating leftovers and there's family everywhere. You don't really want to spend the entire day cooking. So we have here, it's high heat. We're gonna add a little bit of oil because it is fried rice. Alrighty, get that in. And we have our onions and garlic. We are gonna saute. Beautiful. Turn that down a little bit now that it's super high. You just wanna move that around until the onions get soft. And you really have to keep an eye so that the garlic doesn't burn. This really helps, you know, when you're sauteing onions and garlic, the house smells so good. They're not going to know that you're cooking with leftovers, right? When you have something totally new and different to serve up. This is great for the morning after. You have all that leftover in the fridge. Morning after, of course, you want to serve breakfast and not really want to make anything else, you know, completely from scratch. So this is a great way to serve a really fun breakfast fried rice using what you already have with your fixins from your turkey dinner the night before. Next thing is we're going to add our turkey. Put that in. And that way that starts to get heated through. We're just heating everything up. Everything's already cooked. So all we're doing is getting everything nice and warm. Even the turkey with the onions and garlic end up having a new flavor. So good. Here. Now we're going to add our rice. Leftover rice is perfect to make for your fried rice recipe. 
because you really want your rice grainy instead of sticky. But some people do even is take their rice and have it dry out on a cookie sheet. Leftover rice is perfect, perfect, perfect. Get our bowls together here. And again, we're just warming everything through. Oh, this is so good. Now, we're gonna add our corn, leftover corn. We're gonna add our egg. Let's do that. I'm gonna do the green beans last only because those are tender and you don't want those to break up too much. I don't want it to break up too much in the fried rice. That, I love to hear that sizzle. That means everything is getting warm through. Perfect. Oh yeah, perfect. Now we're gonna add our green beans. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put all of that in there. I didn't think I would, but might as well. And what makes fried rice fried rice is when you add a little bit of soy sauce. You think everything that you cook is already seasoned, right? The only really thing is the soy sauce adds a little bit more salt also. So we're going to add about one tablespoon of soy sauce. Gently toss this all together. I like to add some fresh cracked pepper, always. Oh my gosh, we love pepper in the house. We probably put more pepper than the average family because we love it so much. Toss that all together. Always taste your food to adjust for seasoning. I think the seasoning is just right because the turkey has so much flavor. You know, everything was cooked separately, which gave it so much flavor, and now we're putting it all together. So I didn't really need to add much seasoning, plus we added the soy sauce. Now that our empanadas have kind of cooled down, we're gonna give those a try, plate this up as well, I'll see you over there. So we have here our spread of turkey leftovers as promised. We have our Thanksgiving empanadas made with leftover turkey breast, leftover stuffing, cranberry sauce, and even gravy that we put with store-bought pie dough, brushed a little bit of egg, and made into empanadas. What a great way to use your leftovers and away from the typical leftover Thanksgiving sandwich. And the second one, which is great for breakfast, even lunch, really any time of day, is getting your leftovers and making a fried rice out of it. We took leftover turkey again, this time with um, corn, green beans, leftover rice, and really made it into a fried rice. All we did was added some scrambled eggs and a little bit of onions and garlic. We're gonna go ahead and try this first. Show you guys just how good it is. Mm. And it was so fast. We did a little bit of soy sauce, of course, fried rice. Always needs a little soy sauce, so perfect. What's really great about this is that I didn't need to add much more seasoning because every dish that we put in here was seasoned already on its own and with a little bit of extra soy sauce we didn't really need to do much and it was such a quick dish to make now these empanadas i'm going to take one here oh it turned out so perfect so so perfect i'm going to slice this up they're still warm mm, look at that filling inside here you see the cranberry sauce Oh man, you see the stuffing and you see the turkey, you see all those layers right there. And then, oh, I'm just gonna eat and tell you how it tastes. Mmm, mmm, hot. Oh my God. This, oh, this is so good. Really putting in the gravy was key to keeping all those flavors. It's kind of like when you get a spoonful, right? You have your Thanksgiving plate and you're putting everything in one spoonful into your mouth. It's the same thing here with one bite, that tart cranberry sauce. You have your meat, you know, your turkey, your stuffing and the gravy. Such a genius idea. 
I hope that you try these recipes. Go to MomaToo.com to see the full recipes and even check out more. And I hope that you enjoyed this week's episode of Great Everyday Meals. We'll see you again next time. I'm going to finish my bananas. Bye. So chop that. Oh god, I'm really crying. <laughs> oh my god. I'm really crying. Okay. We're gonna chop this up. Oh, I am tearing up like crazy. You would think all the years of cooking. Let's see here. And we're gonna go ahead and build our fried rice. <laughs>